Hello everyone, welcome to our episode of Showcase on Warframe. Today's item is Simdo. Well, a little rather low rank weapon, but quite powerful actually. And especially when it be some fucking metal. <laughs> it's a motherfucking battle axe. What more can I say about this? It's big, it chops, and your enemies don't like being chopped. <laughs> anyway, since it is a battle axe, the attack speed isn't so great at 9. Well, but it's not too bad, 9.1 for a heavy weapon. Uh, block, block, uh, the damage blocked is 85%, critical chance 15%, uh, multiplayer 1.5 times, stats of only 10%. It's ba basically base damage, with puncture at 10, 80, at, well, slash at 80, and impact at 10. So, overall, it's what I expected of a rank 2 weapon of a heavy class category. Now if you want to find this, you can just go to the marketplace. If you toggle only blueprints, you'll find it near the bottom. Just right off the bottom, and it's not too expensive to build either. You'll need about roughly about 30,000 credits, 3 gallium, 750 salvage, 300 circuits, and 500 outlay plate. Which is all very easily gathered. Very easily. Pretty much you can get all that by going to Mars. Which, what, the third planet? So chances are, by the time you do get the Gallium, you're already beyond rank 2. <laughs> now visually, as I mentioned, it's a motherfucking battle axe. Can't get any more metal than that in this game. Now, of a battle axe, it looks rather heavy at that. And the textures, well, textures, they're modern, but they're acceptable. As it's been, it's been updated at some point, clearly. Because it's not the most ugly looking textures, but you can still get in there close, you can still sort of see picks, the little pixel lines, but that's fine. Otherwise, it's perfectly excellent looking. And no doubt looks deadly. If you just simply drop on an opponent from the head height of your head. <laughs> now, the downside is, um, as I mentioned earlier, it's a heavy weapon, so that means it's sub subjugated to the heavy class weapons and its moveset, which is very limiting, very slow. So, but it doesn't have the greatest reach, but we'll see. But enough of that, let's talk about the Sindo Prime. Now, the Sindo Prime is obviously the upgrade, and it's currently bolted. It was gone with Nick's Prime, which has been quite some time ago. But however, if for a time there, I think you're not sure if it's still going, but Twitch Prime, as they called it, you joined the Warframe Twitch channel and watched, you pretty much got this for free, along with Frost Prime and I forget what else. So, but if that's no longer the case, then you have to trade for it, which plenty of players should still have, given that Twitch Prime thing. But we'll see. Either way, it's a Rast rank 6, so it's a significant improvement, and I'll show you the stats very shortly. But otherwise, pretty badass looking. But now first, let's go on to visuals, and you probably thought, now, did you just color code this Sindo? And I wouldn't blame you, because there's scarcely little difference. <laughs> Here, I'll even show us side by side. So yeah, you can see here that pretty much nothing. Like it's almost a color scheme aside from these two protruding horns. That's it. But now if I zoom in on the texture of this weapon, you can tell it needs to be updated. Funny that they did the Sindo before they did the Sindo Prime textures at some point. Because Sindo was pretty good. Sindo Prime, if you easily zoom in, it gets pretty gross pretty quick. Ew. But now about the stats. So you can see here, the tech speed has been very slightly improved. Very slightly. Critical chance is now up to 20%, but the critical multiplier is now times 2. Leap attack, spin attack, etc. is more powerful. Status now up to 15%, and wall attacks also have been increased. Now for damage, you got 13 puncture over that of 10, and you got 104 slash over that of 80, and 12, uh, 13 impact over 10. So, definite improvement. So this, the critical chance is actually a lot more viable now. But still difficult to use given it's a heavy weapon. But it's now not quite done. We're about to go into my build. My heavy metal build. <laughs> so yes, this is what I call my heavy metal build. Now, what's so heavy metal about it? Well, you'll see when we get into it. Some people probably picked up what it's going to be. Now this only made easier things to the ribbon. But anyway, as you saw, I got a lot more attack speed. A lot more, almost double. <laughs> My critical chance is a staggering 49%. My critical multiplier is 3.8 times. And you can see the ribbon dispersion is only 3 orbs out of 5, but that's fairly comparable. The status chance of almost 30%, but that's besides the point. I'm not really going for status this weapon, couldn't fit it on with my metal build. 
And damage, well, the 850 slash is all that really counts in terms of damage. <laughs> so to get there, you get my Prime Fury for that attack speed. That's if you already have it or not. It's a day login reward. Jagged Edge for and Buzz Kill for Slash. Got True, True Steel and or Organ Shatter for the, well, the critical chance and damage. And I got Prime Pressure Point for more damage. Now I got Berserker, which increases attack speed when a critical is landed. So maybe you get an idea where this is going. <laughs> now for my ribbon. So look, I didn't have to roll it too many times, but you can see here with my ribbon I got 93% status chance and almost 90% critical chance. So that really just... I don't really care about the status chance so much because it didn't really go anywhere unless you invest a lot into it. But to get my metal built, I need a critical chance. And having an extra 90, in almost a 50%, is perfect. <laughs> Alright, let's get started with the test. We'll go get some usual Grenier units, though Grenier would be the weakest since they didn't fit any uh, anything to fight their armor with. It could be changed based on the build, I could add a bit of radiation or, you know, very various other things to hurt them, but and then it hurts my metal build overall. So, let's get started. I'll just keep quiet. Yeah, that's my metal build, oh yeah! <laughs> This is what I love about it. Going fucking ape shit on your enemies with a fucking battle axe. <laughs> now I'll just say is damn. That lacks fucking metal. <laughs> as much as I use in a joking matter, this build is actually quite effective. With the stance of the crane, you can actually knock over opponents and send them over various cliff edges. I've done this many times. <laughs> I may not the biggest use of the Sindo, but back early in the game, I used it a lot. A lot. And you can probably see an obvious reason why when you can get some of these mods together. The River of Mod has amplified my, my ability to do this. Instead of taking up to 4 or 5 hits, it now just takes 1 to 2 for my ultimate speed to kick in there and just go completely nuts. <laughs> just berserk on the enemy. So against Grenier, it did eh, okay, but against Corpus and the Infestation especially, it's just devastating. It's just destroying them. I could go to 150, but it's besides the point. <laughs> you see that even at level 100, these guys don't stand really much of a chance in that scenario. But then again, neither would I if these guys were all firing on me if I was alone like this. But still, a good, very good way to kill enemies very quickly, especially how they cluttered together like this. Truly, <laughs> just destroy them all. That's what this weapon's good at: cutting the enemy down. But now, let's take it the next step further and go with some infestation. Get some chargers, and we're going to put them to the max level. So we'll grab 20 of them, and we'll go to level 150. It'll make very little difference. At least for these enemies, because they're purely flesh. And the Sindo chops his flesh the best. So in this scenario, I would be actually more or less comfortable using this weapon like this. Though arguably, probably could be slight, there could be better options to fight infested, but in terms of melee weapons, I don't think there isn't a whole lot of better weapons to do this with. <laughs> when you have this kind of speed, and this kind of damage, there's very little that can rival that. It truly, it's destructive. Just annihilate. I got nothing more to say, I got nothing more to add. It's just excellent. But however, can it kill a 150 heavy gunner? Well, no. <laughs> Maybe if I added a bit of that element I spoke of earlier, but even then I don't think it's to do a whole lot. Because status chance is not great, only 20%, 30 when I'll my ribbon in that. So, eh, but oh well. That, but if I did that, I lose my metal build. But now, damage block, I'll quickly briefly show it. You saw my damage being, well, pretty much just devastated there, my, my health and shields. I'll get that back, and we'll demonstrate the uh, damage block here, and as you can see, much better. 80% is significant, pretty significant here. You can safely approach majority of opponents without being, you know, mauled to death <laughs> by gunfire or otherwise. Okay, let's move on to the pros and cons of the Sindo. Now, I would say a pro is it's fucking metal, but hey, that's not, not really try to cut a pro for some people. <laughs> but I will say, it's a very early access weapon that you can get your whole hands on that's quite powerful. Even the plain one could do decent power. Also, it's a very decent well, critical build. The so Sindo has a medio, like you know, an average one, but the Sindo Prime has a good one. You can actually use something with it, as you saw. 
Even without my ribbon, it was still viable. It still worked. Alright. And pretty much in terms of heavy weapons, it's on the faster side. Maybe not as fast as the Gram and other ones. Maybe. I'm not sure. I just stacked those numbers side by side. But anyway, moving on from pros, we got cons. With the main con being it's you now vaulted. Now you could have some people got it through Twitch Prime, and I'm not even sure if that's still ongoing or not, but if it's not, it's vaulted. Also, it is on the slower end of weapons. It is still a heavy weapon, despite it being you know, early accessed to new players. But regardless, there isn't a whole lot of drawbacks to this weapon. It's still very excellent. I only consider those two as the cons. Now, going on to the score. But keep in mind, this score only applies to the Sindo Prime. Now, for damage, I'm going to give that an 8 out of 10. This is a deadly weapon to swing at your enemies, or to simply drop on them, if you will. <laughs> the metal build just takes everything and makes it very quick, very nice. <laughs> reach, I'll give it a 6 out of 10. It's not the greatest reach for a heavy weapon, but it's comparable to most swords and slightly better than that. Now, design, I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10. It's a motherfucking battle axe. It's, it works. It works excellent. It does everything it needs to do. I think design it did very well. Speed though, I'm gonna give it a three out of ten. It's not very fast, but it's not the slowest weapon in the game. Clearly not. Clearly not. Miscellaneous, I'm gonna give it an eight out of ten. It, mainly because it's very viable for end game and it's pretty fucking awesome. <laughs> People love battle axes. Well, I do. And I thought, okay, this guy, his weapon actually works throughout the entire game. So in total, I give the Sindo Prime 33 out of 50. It's a great weapon, clearly put. Now, it comes for judgment. It's a little on the obvious side, but I believe this weapon to be worth it. Maybe not the original, because the Prime is so much better in many aspects for when you see the upgrade. But yeah, this weapon is excellent. It's maybe the heavy weapons are not for everyone. I still probably use more daggers and heavy weapons these days anyway, but. But yes, it's still very powerful, you can get the job done, if you go with my metal build, it'll be more than quick enough. <laughs> the speed is then thrown out the window, but that takes specific modding to achieve. But that's my opinion, and that's been Shogis for Taylor. Thank you all for watching, hope to see you guys next time. Take care out there.